Well, there was another rally in Canberra today on another issue causing headaches for Julia Gillard and that's same-sex marriage. On what's being billed National Marriage Day, more than 200 people, including MPs, gathered at Parliament House. They were calling for marriage to remain a union between a man and a woman. The Dads for Kids group claimed a gay marriage could lead to everything from the UK rights to all kinds of addictions. Powerful elites, many of whom are ultra-feminists, have waged war on marriage and fatherhood in Britain for three decades. Last week's riots are a prime, prime example of their success. Tragically, exactly the same thing is happening here in Australia. Congratulations have flowed to the well-known radical feminist Penny Wong and her lesbian partner on the impending birth of her partner's new baby. But where, but where are the tears for the child who will grow up without her father in the home? Well, where are the tears for the fatherless children who will one day occupy 70 per cent of the capacity of our already overcrowded jails? Where are the tears for the fatherless children who medicate their father wound through self-destructive alcohol, drug, porn and sex addictions, and who will in many cases end up taking their own lives? Meanwhile, Queensland Independent MP Bob Catter said he wanted to reclaim the word gay. I got a telephone call up couple of months back and they said what's your position on gay marriage and I said um, gay is one of the most beautiful words in the English language in fact I got an A in English uh, senior for uh, quoting uh, the rape of the lock of Alexander Pope well, then Belinda smiled and all the world was gay and it conjured up a beautiful spectre and nobody has the right to take that word off us and that image off us Peter Reith, what do you make of the arguments that were being put today against same-sex marriage? Well, I thought it was just dreadful, and quite frankly, I don't think the ABC should have given those people the airplay. I uh, agree. The I agree. Personal, a personal attack on Penny Wong, I thought it was disgraceful, again, shameful. Uh, and uh, I wish Penny all, you know, all the best, she and her, uh, her friend, and, uh, you know, best of luck to the baby as well. So, uh, but there should be no commentary of that sort, in my view, put to air. That is a very small... Look, most Australians reckon that, you know, these things are private matters between individuals, and I'm a bit in that camp, I must say. Uh, but having that uh, put to air, I'm sorry, to, hear, sorry mm. to have heard it. It's a complete warping of the debate. I mean, to talk about fatherless children as though they, these children are the children oh, of, of you know, gay just, couplings is ridiculous. You know, yeah, just it, marriage breakdown is an issue comment. and it can lead to yeah. long term personal problems for children, no doubt about it. But most of those marriages are heterosexual marriages. I think one in three, one in three heterosexual marriages. And, you know, it's just complete furphy. It's, it's completely oh. alarmist and has no place in this debate. It sort of reminds me yeah. of one of those exclusive clubs and they don't want somebody else coming and joining it's and they put up all these barriers and create a worldview. That was the most offensive thing I've heard on the drum, including anything that any of these panellists have ever said. Okay, let's